right, it is time for the Zendikar set rising packs right here. We got a booster box and there's a guaranteed foil in every one of these packs, which kind of makes it exciting. Uh, it's a bit inside. It's, they don't really seem well put together. Uh, they've been moving quite a lot in my bag when I was taking them back home with me. But, I mean, hopefully there's no damage to the box stopper. That's we're going to be where the majority of the value is, unless I'm hitting something seriously good on the uh, the list, which I don't think I am. If you've seen any of the people opening the boxes of this right now, uh, the list cards, a lot of the pulls are not very exciting. I've seen Ren and Six pulled at least once, though, so that's kind of cool. This box here, I'm going to have my Dragon's Maze box here for good luck, obviously. God bless Dragon's Maze. And let's put this around. So, yeah, it was... Huh. Okay, no damage though. Yeah, the packs, wow, look how loose these are. What the heck? Unlike anything I've ever seen. I mean, they, they look nice displayed, so they, they come displayed already. Interesting. And here's our set pack. I'm gonna put that to the side. Actually, I'm gonna put that right on top of the Dragon's Maze. For good luck, hopefully this will be a Scalding Tarn or, or a Misty Rainforest. Or actually, uh, even the Cavern of Souls would be nice. These all here. We're gonna use. Wow, these packs are really thin compared to regular. Oh my God, these might even fall over. Okay, well, I'm gonna put the third stack here. All right, so why don't we start from the top right here? Let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, it's actually still nice and hot outside here in uh, Canada, which is a bit of a surprise. Usually by mid September, it's it's already kind of almost fall jacket weather here. Ooh, nice uh, Nahiri, so I had a nice bike ride today, which I thought I wasn't going to have many more of those, but it looks like we did have good weather. Nice uh, full art mountain there. I'm going to put, actually, how am I going to do this? Okay, let's just put everything not too exciting in the middle there, and then this will be for good stuff. This will be for just every, all the bulk. Okay, so Marauding Blight Priest, Sprite Priest, uh, Core Celebrant, Seagate Banneret, Kabira Outrider, and uh, Canyon Jerboa. Fearless Fledgling. You got a Akum Hellhound. That's kind of cool. Um, Kazundu Necropot. Umara Mystic. And Lotus Cobra. Not a bad pull there. And we got our Mind Drain and nothing from the list. Okay, so all the bulk. And yeah, I'm going to put basically everything there. And this will be for all the set art cards. And this will be for foils and... Rares. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to fit all the bulk into here, but uh, we'll see what happens. I might have to change my plans for stacking these after, but let's just blast through a few of these packs right now. There's the land, there's the art card, Comb Hellhound, anything interesting? Relic Robber and Bubble Snare, and we do have a list card. See, it's a common. That's what I'm saying. A lot of them are not very exciting. Stony Brook Bannerets, eh, that's not bad. It's interesting, at least. Let's put that there. And there's the rare and the foil. There's all the bulk. Going right in there. Cool. I don't know what I feel about this product. I think it's a little overpriced. I think it should be the same price as a booster box. Because I think you're only getting, is it 30? 30 packs? Or is it 36? Actually, no, you're getting 36 packs. Okay, actually, maybe uh, it is should be. Maybe the price is accurate for what it is. But you are getting less cards in here. Uh, Inscription of Insight. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. Okay. My God, these are not being... Ugh, it's nice to display in the packs, but... I don't know, it feels very flimsy. Uh, Inscription of Insight and uh, another rare. A Yasharn Implaceable Earth and a Disenchant Foil. Cool. So we did get multiple rares. I know you can get a lot of rares in each pack. I've seen some people get up to four rares and or mythics in these, which is pretty crazy. So we know we don't have a list card right off the get-go. If you actually see the ad slot at the back, you already know. You didn't get anything good there. Okay. Ooh, there's the Canyon Jerboa. Let's put that there. And we got for our rare... Ooh, nice! Really cool. Wow, these feel thicker. Wow, the cardstock feels thicker on this. Interesting. Now we got the Craig Crown Pathway. Not bad. And we did get a foil blood price. Right, right, right. 
cool. Not bad. What do you guys think about the full art uh, flip lands? Surprised uh, how cheap they are right now. Like you can find them for uh, like under five, six dollars. I've seen some places listed on eBay. It's a foil full art. That's pretty cool. Okay, what are we looking at here? Anything of any interest? Uh, Archpriest of Iona. Not bad. And we have a Bean Veil. Okay, interesting. Okay, right, let's put those there. All right, on to the next pack. I'm wondering what cards I'm going to get from the list here. I'll go over everything after. Uh, it'd be really cool if I got a Ren and Six. That'd be really awesome. I don't think it's going to happen, though. But let's just blast through here. We've got a Skyclave Squid. So we do have another Alt Art card in there. Crawling Barons is our rare. And a Valka... Ooh, wow. That's a pretty sweet pack. So too bad this land is not worth too much, but you're getting a crawl. Okay, so I don't know what just happened. I think my camera shut off somehow. So you might have missed a lot of the open. I'll go over them again. I don't know what the heck just happened there. Weird malfunctions you get with this camera, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so these go here. Uh, Luminarch Aspirant and a Stonework Pack Beast. Cool. Wow, that was weird. I was looking at my camera, and I, the red light was flashing before, then there's just no red light, and I don't understand why it would just shut off randomly. That really upsets me. Ah, it's so annoying. Oh, well. Oh, we do have a signature card here. At least we got this one on camera. That's pretty cool. I like the gold signature there, but I mean, it's not, it's just printed on. There's nothing really that ex like exciting about it. I mean, I don't know. If you look at the prices of the Modern Horizons art cards, uh, none of them are really worth anything. So yeah, fortunate, but it's true. Okay, uh, what do we have here? Oh, ooh, we got a first mythic, first mythic of this entire box so far. Drana, the last blood chief. And we have a Glacial's Grasp and no art, no of, uh, none of that list action going on, unfortunately. We only have the two list cards. I don't think the second one was caught on camera, unfortunately. Uh, the first, I believe, was. Um, yeah, very upsetting that the camera just randomly shut off for no reason. Uh, okay, so we got Jace Mirror Mage art card. That's pretty cool. I don't think any of these are going to be worth anything, unfortunately. Um, but either way, we did get that. Territorial Scythe Cat. It's pretty neat. Uh, and we have our Wayward Guide Beast. Doesn't this remind you a little bit of uh, Goblin Guide? I mean, it's even got the guide in there, but Trample Haste 2-2 two, two for 1. Um, unfortunately, though, you do return a land back to your hand. So I don't know how that good that would be in Burn, because Burn, you already are playing with a fairly limited amount of lands. So putting one back to your hand, you only had to play one land per turn. It's... Uh, not that great for burn, but still a pretty cool deck. I mean, maybe in like, hmm, maybe some sort of like bushwhack deck, maybe or a zoo deck. I could see it being okay in. Got a uh, shell shield right there as well. Cool. All right. So, what do you guys think about mass box opening? It's dead. Let me know in the comments because hearing a lot of uh, negativity around mass box opening with Rudy and I even made a video talking about it. I believe max bo mass box opening is pretty dead right now at the moment, but that's mostly because uh, there's no gameplay being had at the stores. Ooh, we got two rares here, Legion Angel, Relic Robber and Craig well, and a foil rare, Craig Plate Balath. Nice. That is a sweet pack. 3 rares in one pack. See, the most you can get, I think, is four if you get a card from the list in the back that happens to also be a rare. And you can get four in one pack. That's cr What are the odds of that? Okay, so putting those there. Uh, Risen Riptide. Okay, in the waist. Anything of any note here? Ooh, nice. We got a Riverside Pathway. That's not bad. And a Territorial Scythe Cat Foil. Ooh, there you go. Old Border Fodder Cannon. It's not one of the cards that you really want to get on the list, but uh, nonetheless, we, we got it, so cool. <laughs> that was not too exciting, I know. Okay. All right, ooh, that's a nice art card there. Pretty cool. 
right, there's our full art forest. Feed the Swarm. This is right now, it's actually the best selling common in this set, uh, along, along with uh, Cleansing Wildfire. It's pretty neat. Relic Vial. I think these relics are actually pretty sweet too. Sign of the Swarm. Ooh, nice. We got another one of the Zendikar lands, Kazan Kazandu Necropot. Uh, do -do -do. Ooh, uh, nice. Inscription of Ruin and a Spare Supplies. Nice. Pretty cool. All right, well, I think I almost filled up that back slot there, so I'm gonna have to start putting the rest of the cards probably here for just the regular bulk. The Art Mountain. Cleansing Wildfire, really good card. Master of Winds and Sneaking Guide, and we got another list card. It's a rare Sensei Golden Tail. It's not one of the ones you wanna see, but nonetheless, uh, if you actually look at the list, there's not a lot of cards in there that have an, a lot of value, um, but I mean, we did get a rare, so that's cool. So two rares in this pack, along with the foil. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are having a good weekend right now. Did you guys pick up any Zendikar Rising product? And if you did, are you planning on picking up more, or are you just gonna open your one box and then just be done with it and wait for the next set, like Commander Legends? Seems to be what the majority of people are kind of doing now. Uh, once a set comes out, people are already bored of it within the, like, after pre-release weekend, there's maybe a week or two of hype, and then that's it. It's gone. No more hype. Okay, we got a Skyclave As... Ooh, nice! Mirag Fury of Akum. Skyclave Apparition, also pretty cool. And uh, we got a Nimana Sky Dancer. Awesome pack. Awesome pack. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Okay. I'm wondering, because I can't see right now how much was missed when the camera shut off, but... Uh, I will go over the cards at the end because uh, when I'm watching people open up a box, I always like to see you know, a nice uh, opening where they get to show all the cards at the end of it as well because like that way you get a better picture of how much value you got. Ooh, nice uh, glass pool neck, chilling trap. Um, I don't know. I just think it's it's just nicer to see all the cards at the end as well that were of any value so you can make your own assessment whether it was a good box or whether you want to pick one up okay okay what do we got what do we got uh, okay i can put these stack the stack here now we have a veserol the split current Ooh, nice foil here of a cleric of life's blood and we got a murderous cut for some reason Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, like some of the cards you're getting on the list are just complete bulk, right? Like it's basically, it's like Mystery Booster Box, but it's just, you get barely any of the cards from the Mystery Booster Box, which is uh, kind of shitty. Oh, no, these are going here. What am I doing separating my, gotta separate my piles properly, darn it. Okay. Okay, we got a Skyclave Pickaxe. Nice, uh, why is that going there? That's a nice Zendikar card. Sizzling Barrage, Sure-Footed Infiltrator, Tejuru Paragon. This is one of the first cards that they spoiled, too. Territorial of Scythecat Foil. That's nice. That is really cool. Actually, uh, love that card. And I'm making, like, these really janky landfall decks right now for uh, my girlfriend because I, I got her into Magic a few months ago. And uh, she likes green, but I, I'm trying to get her into, like, a Gruul uh, color matchup because I think it, for players who are just starting off, Gruul's a really funny uh it's a good it's a good combo to play along with uh it's like smash and dash you have like you know big green keep creatures fast red ones uh there's a lot of ways to remove things with red you can also mana ramp landfall is really good for gruel so she's enjoying it so far so there you go wizards you can thank me later i got uh, i got you guys more players how about that uh myriad construct and uh, marassa brute nice I always like getting people into the game. I do believe Magic is the best card game of all time. I think it's the best game of all time, to be honest, in general. There's obviously other games that I'd rather play in certain situations, but uh, overall, I just think Magic's the best game there is. Okay, Cleansing Wildfire. What do we get in here? Okay, ooh, Leland Tyrant. This is a sweet card. I love that. Oh, that is so cool. We got another Mythic. Uh, antagonation and we do have something crazy here oh it's a fellow our stone that's it's okay that's not bad it's one of the better cards we've gotten so far from the list 
I'm really hoping to get like a Renin 6. I would open that, you, that's it. Everything else is just gravy on the set booster box. Like you, you already made up most of your value back right there. Ooh, nice. Foil Full Art Forest. Okay. A nice canopy ballast there. Sweet, why am I putting that there? There we go. Oh, we got a Soul Shatter and a Foil Spitfire Laga. Cool. Not bad. All right. I have my Collector Booster Box. I'll be opening later today. Uh, I don't know if, when I'm going to release it. I might put it out on Saturday. I know usually the sooner the better is good for the Google, you know, uh, YouTube's algorithm, but um, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling like putting it on my computer and, yeah, and coding it and everything. It might take a while, but maybe I'll get it out there later tonight on Friday. Who knows? We got two rares here as well. Nice. Zerath and Magmatic Chandler and uh, Kazandu Necropot. Necropot. Nice. Very cool, very cool. Oh, we're getting a lot. Our stack is getting pretty big here. Foils and rares. Nice. So I'm going to go over all those foils and rares after. Show you guys. Including all the set cards that are in there as well. And a lot of canopy ballast I'm noticing here. Another bit far. I'm putting these, uh, these ones aside. Because the landfall janky deck that I'm building right now is most of the cards are all within this border, and I'm gonna be get I'm probably gonna have enough to actually put all the creatures that are landfall creatures together like that. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Skeet Swarm. This is one of the better cards to get in the set at rare. It, it had a huge spike recently. I don't know if I went back down yet, but really, really good card. And we have a Skyclave Shade as well, and Feed the Swarm. I think this is, yeah, that's a really good foil to get. Feed the Swarm. Wow, actually, that was a really good pack. We did not get any set card in that, though, unfortunately. Still, nonetheless, that was awesome. Pretty sweet. Okay, ooh, nice. We are getting a lot of foil, full arts. This is a bucket island, too. Really nice. Wow. They really upped the amount that you can get in this. Got a Hagra Mauling. Uh, ooh, nice double rare pack again. Shadow's Verdict. And our foil is a Deliberate. Deliberate or Deliberate? I'm just saying Deliberate. Scry Tooth and Draw Card. Not bad. It's like, uh... That's basically Serum Visions if it was an instant, but it costs one more. Cool. Not too bad. So you actually get... You're getting, in some packs, more than one foil. Because if you get the foil rare... I mean, the foil land in the front there... And you can get two foils per pack. I mean, here's the thing. I don't know how much people are really going to care about foils in two years from uh, now because they've been printing them like crazy. Ooh, this is the Windswept Heat artwork, I believe, for the expedition. That's really cool. Forests. Ooh, nice. Agadim's Awakening. That's really sweet. And a Relic Vial. Awesome. Awesome possum. These packs are really nice and easy to open. That is a plus. Mountain and our art card here. We got a prowling Felidar. Uh, Nisa's Zendikon. Interesting name. Thieving Skydiver. And a Expedition Champion. Ooh! And we got another list card. Blight Sickle. So that sucks. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Not... <laughs> The list cards, I've barely seen any really good pulls happen from I think that might be our last list card, too, because we only have two more packs open. So that was, in terms of the how the list goes, was not very exciting. I think that the prices of these boxes should go down based on how rare it is to get anything of value from that list slot. I mean, there obviously is going to be huge swings and huge misses, just like most products, but it's just like, come on. You're, I've barely seen any good openings for the lists. Uh, we have Skyclave Apparition and Malachar Blood Priest. I don't know, let me know if you guys have seen any. I, mean, I think I've seen quite a lot bo of box openings here on YouTube for uh, Zendikar Rising set boosters, but when it comes to seeing really good cards in the set list, I, I haven't really seen any of them, to be honest. Barely any cards from that list. Throne of McKindy. 
practice tactics, and we just have a core warrior token. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go over this expedition here. What do you guys think? Expedition box stopper time. Let's go. Let's go. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? I got a uh, Cavern of Souls in my last one. This one is... Ooh, Horizon Canopy. Very, very sexy. I'm loving that. I'm loving that card. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's put that here. Uh, I mean, it's not the most expensive. It's somewhere in the middle of the pack right now. I think it's like a $45 card around there. Still pretty cool. So let's see. How many Mythics did we get? Uh... One, we got a lot of rares here. A lot of foil uh, lands as well. I don't think we actually got m much mythics. Elkite. Morog. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we did. Oh, Drana. Hmm. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we don't have a... Yeah, we didn't really get a lot. We have the one flirt there. Huh, that's interesting. Wow, I mean, we got a lot of rares, but we only got four mythics. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I actually think that the set booster boxes are, are definitely overpriced. Uh, I haven't seen too many really good openings for them. On YouTube. I mean, obviously you're going to get every once in a while a pretty just absurd one, but yeah, unless you really like foils. Yeah, I don't know. Four Mythics, that's it, guys. What do you think about this? I don't know. Let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.